Hello and welcome to another short video. Today we're going to look at part two IELTS speaking and we're going to focus on taking notes. Remember you only have one minute so it's not very long we need to do everything really fast. So never write full sentences. This is an example of what not to do here. So you see the person writing a full sentence. Instead of that, focus on the key words. So the two key words there was comfortable and calm. We don't even need to write them out fully. Nice little abbreviations like that are fine and much, much faster. Remember, it's not just, you, you don't just use your one minute to think about vocab. Think about fluency, think about grammar, and also think about pronunciation. In terms of grammar, the verbs in the question will tell you, is it about the past, is it the present, or is it the future? With pronunciation, Focus on your final sounds. Is it a t, is it a d, or is it some other kind of difficult word form or word sound? Um, also be clear about who you're talking about and you, the use of pronouns. In Vietnam, people often make mistakes and get confused between he and she. So write that down. That's a good thing to have on your notes. So now we're seeing a typical IELTS Part 2 speaking question coming up. Uh, about an activity on your last holiday. Notice how the question's quite specific. Lots of WH questions, lots of open questions to encourage candidates to give long answers. As we just said, when we look at this question we, and we're taking our notes, we want to focus in on the words. They tell us what kind of tense we should use in our answer. So we're seeing lots of past verbs come up here. So you should use them, you should also, as we said before, think about pronunciation with the sounds of these words. Enjoy D, for example, there. Also notice uh, the who here. So now we're going to think about pronouns. Is it a he or a she? Be clear about that. Now what we see here is a typical way that students take notes. They um, basically just take down the four key words from the question. And all they're really doing here is repeating the words from the question. This is OK. Um, it's a basic way of doing it and, and it works. Sometimes you even see people drawing pictures and especially in terms of place, it's not a bad idea. Lots of ideas of things you can talk about there. But now I'd like to show you a different way of taking notes. This way is, is what I think is a superior way with more specific details. So we're going to write down the WH questions as before but we're going to write a few more. In the question there's four but notice here we've got five main questions. We're also adding the how often or how you feel. And here's the key bit too. We want to be asking ourselves why. Remember candidates find it hard to talk for two minutes on some topic so the more specific details we have the better. Okay I hope you enjoyed that. If you keep looking on Facebook I will give you a sample of the actual notes coming up soon and we'll give you